first episode of Lean Hybrid Muscle TV. Today we are going to start with a foundation principle to the entire Lean Hybrid Muscle concept that Mike Westerdahl and I are, are building. And uh, as you know, the result that we're aiming to achieve is to build muscle and burn fat at the same time, which is something that most fitness professionals think is impossible. But we're going to give it a shot. Now, the, where we're going to begin is with the muscle fiber types because you've heard, heard us say things like this type 3 muscle fiber and when training the type 3 hybrid muscle fiber and uh, in most textbooks this stuff doesn't appear, appear in fact but in fact I did find it in my uh, in one of my college textbooks they referred to it as a type 2 C muscle fiber but I'll talk to you about that and reference that in a later video today we're just going to outline the three types of muscle fibers and then I'm going to delve into how we can access the type 3 muscle fiber because that is exactly how we're going to build the muscle faster and that's exactly how we're going to build, uh, burn fat at the same time. So check it out. Most of you know a lot of this already. You've got your type 1 muscle fiber and your type 2 muscle fiber where there are, and with type 2 there are also several different types of type 2 muscle fiber and we'll get, that, get to that in a moment. Type 1 muscle fibers are what are also referred to as uh, white fibers and they're also referred to as slow twitch muscle fibers. They are highly oxidative. That means that they use oxygen for energy and that means exercises like long aerobic stints like uh, triathlons or jogging on a treadmill or skipping rope for several minutes at a time. I mean up to an hour. You are in an oxidative state. You're, the energy system is utilizing oxygen. It's also, and this is a key component to the hybrid muscle uh, concept, is it's high in mitochondria. Mitochondria are like the powerhouses that generate energy for that muscle, particular muscle cell. And type 1 muscle fibers are very high in that. That means they utilize energy very well. Um, basically, there are lots of little, uh, little engines inside this muscle so that it can continue to... to, to be used for long periods of time and uh, and that's why it's very good for fat burning and that's why for such a long time we've been told that you need to do long boring treadmill treks in order to burn fat the idea the concept makes sense but we, we found a better way and we're going to talk about that as we go along now you've got your type 2 muscle fiber and uh, and those of you academics at home who know uh, understand this stuff you're going to say well there's a type A and there's a type B and in fact uh, there's a type C and we'll talk about that in a moment but generally speaking this is a fast twitch muscle fiber or, or dark fibers red fibers um, I happen to be made up of like all muscle fiber type 2 muscle fiber basically I could jump really high I could lift heavy stuff but um, I have a hard time doing uh, long like jogging a mile for me is, is, is hell and I hate doing it but um but I can lift a thousand pounds and, and jump and dunk a basketball. That means I'm very fast twitch or type 2. And this is just genetic, uh, genetic predisposition. Then you also have the fact that this type 2 muscle fiber is glycolytic. It uses glycogen. It uses sugar within the tissue for the most part for fueling its, its use. It uses creatine phosphate and, uh, and ATP. It uses very short uh, or very available forms of energy that are directly into your muscle as opposed to the oxidative where it can take it from the liver and things like that. So anyway, it uses up all the sugar in your muscle. Low mitochondrial density. These are very thick fibers. So being is that they're very big, they're like big containers and that means the density of mitochondria within it is small. There are lots of them floating around in there. It's not tight and dense like it is in here. And there may actually be only like a handful of mitochondria in a in a type 2 or uh, you know uh, those powerhouses in a type 2 muscle fiber when there are tons in a type 1. Very good for strength and power like I described you know power being able to jump and explode and strength lifting heavy things. Now here's where it gets really exciting. Our type 3 muscle fiber has the it, it's basically built like a type 2. It is it's the same size circumference it's it's a, it's a big fiber but it has the capacity to perform like a slow twitch. Now this is crazy. How the, how the hell can a type 2 muscle fiber perform like a type 1 muscle fiber? It all has to do with the mitochondrial density. See, the, the thickness and size of this muscle fiber 
allows it to, to perform that power and that strength. But because it's very high in mitochondria, that means it can utilize oxygen. In, in other words, it can go for long periods of time with strength and power. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous, this is crazy, but I'll show you why I got so interested in it in a moment and why I know it works. Um, it builds muscle because it's a thick type 2 fiber and burns more fat because it is also performing like a type 1. Now, here is the fuel that drives this engine. Here is what makes this all happen and all possible. And I'll also tell you why most people don't access this type of muscle fiber. Because it is all based on this word. The way this muscle fiber is accessed is through training with a sick psycho attitude. See, with type 2 muscle fibers, you can perform like a power lifter and do a, a, a single, albeit you're, you're doing a single squat for 800, 900 to 1,000 pounds. Great, that's awesome. The same guy on the opposite end who's a marathon runner will do these long cardio treks. Now, people who tend to lean toward one or the other of these are usually very good at it. You know, a guy who likes to run marathons is usually very good at running marathons. That's why he's taken to that activity. And someone who power lifts and lifts a thousand pounds for a deadlift or a squat is generally going to be predisposed to doing this very well. So here's where attitude comes into play. When you take someone who's predisposed, like myself, to type 2 fast muscle twitch fibers and you force him to perform his specialty you're not going to make it. now here's the big mistake a lot of people will take this guy and make him do this and this guy and do that it doesn't work that way what you do is you take your specialty you take what you're predisposed to being good at and you perform it in a similar manner to what's going on on the opposite end so that means if you lift heavy yes lift heavy but lift heavy a lot and often with very short rest periods that mimic what's going on in the type one. Type one, uh, yes, you can perform for long periods of time, but guess what now? Now you're going to try to perform the same, in the same fashion, and I'm gonna, we're gonna talk all about how we design programs for each one of these types, but you're gonna design programs that feed your strength, that lend towards your strength, allowing you to use, uh, use cardio, but you're gonna now add in some things that elicit that type 2 response and the only way that this happens is if you cultivate a sh just a, a sick attitude to push yourself from one to the end and I gotta tell you it's not something easy to do it's not for everyone but I'd like to know how it's worked out for you if you've ever experienced anything like what I'm describing right now and uh, and what type of results you've gotten so if you're at our access blog go down leave your comments I want to know what's going on also this is video number one of a series and uh, I'd like to make sure that everyone is getting this information so before I publish series or video number two I want to get at least 25 comments so make sure if you're watching this video and you and you like it you go to the blog or if you're if you're watching this on YouTube you go to leanhybridmuscle.com join the just put your email address and, and you get access to the blog and then just leave a comment below all right I hope that was helpful for you let me know what you think Talk to you next